So my good good friend Channel Donstar called me out yet again in this tag thing. And by good friend, I mean somebody who I've never met in my entire life and I know nothing about. He could be a horrible mass murderer for all I know. But a good good friend because he was one of the first people to sub to me when I had like 10 people. And now I've got like 200 something, which yay me, winning at life as always. But last time he called me out and asked a few questions, I tried to keep the game of tag going where you ask a bunch of questions of a YouTuber and pass it on to another YouTuber. But the person I picked was some selfish bitch who didn't want to answer, so fuck her. And, <laughs> and I just started doing other videos from then on. But uh, he is doing this yet again. I don't know if he's the originator of this game, but uh, I do think it's interesting. And then this time I will pick someone else in the future who I'm pretty sure will answer me. And I will ask the same 10 questions. I'm totally lying. I'm probably going to tweak these questions a little bit, make them... Okay, I'm going to ask 10 questions, and whoever I ask of, and it might be you, Don Star, for calling me out all the time, I'm going to have to call your ass out, and you probably will never talk to me again after the horrible, despicable questions I will ask you. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a nightmare to many people. But he asked me these 10, so I'm going to do this really fast. Oh, by the way, he told me I should link this, link this to his, like, put it in the comments, like, link it somehow, and so people can subscribe to my channel. I, you're assuming I know how to do something more than press the on button the red button. I know it uh, means record. That's all I know how to do on my fucking cell phone and computers. I can't link anything. I can't. I can send a text barely. Sometimes I send it to somebody else and they're wondering why I say, you know, get me the butcher knife and the duct tape. Meet me at the lake. You know what to do. The girl is jogging. The, the, you know, I get something like, who are you? And I'm calling the police. It's weird. But here are the 10 questions. I'm going to try to answer them best as I can. Do this real fast. Uh, number one, it's a three-parter. Who are you? How old are you? Where are you from? Who am I? Am I? Is that like a philosophical question? I am mother. I am daughter. I am caregiver. I am life taker. I am tree. I am wind. I don't fucking know. Uh, who am I? I think it's pretty obvious. I'm a single gal trying to make it in the city with two crazy teenage daughters. Uh, my landlord is always barging him when he shouldn't be. And every time there's a situation in my life, there's a weird laugh track I can hear and I don't know what's going on. I, I don't exactly know what that question means. Who am I? I am Jay. I have YouTube channel and I make many, many people mad. How old are you? A true woman never realizes her age, ever. Uh, no, I'm 41 years old and I just heard myself say that. That's so fucking depressing when you realize how old you really are. That's when I started knowing I was getting older when I'm like, holy shit, the president, like the last one, not the was only not that much older than me. Like, remember they were all old people when you were growing up? It was just like, your doctors, all that were ancient and now they are younger than you and that's when it gets really sad. Thanks for reminding me. Where are you from is the third part of this number one question. Uh, some say the nether regions of hell. Uh, some say a test tube baby slash government experiment gone wrong. I am from Chicago. I am from Chicago, born, bred, and living. I don't know, that's why I like to shoot things. Number two, your favorite guilty pleasure music. Music, guilty pleasure. Um, all right, I'm going to take some shit because I make fun of the bitch a lot. Madonna. Listen, I know, I know. I fucking want to slap myself for saying that. Listen, here's my defense of that. When I need to get motivated to run, I need a good beat. That bitch knows how to pick a good beat. I'm sorry, if you are, can't move when you hear one of her up-tempo songs, not that when she rarely tries to sing because we know the bitch can't, but, you know, like a, a holiday or a, um, I'm trying to think of something else. Like a, a, what a fast-paced song, like burning up or something, the old-school shit, not the new crazy shit that she does. Like, that bitch knew how to pick a good hook and make your ass move. If you don't at least, you know, tap your feet or your finger or your genitals or something like that while sh it's a fast, upbeat Madonna song, then you're dead. Then you're dead. Even paraplegics, they can just drool in time, kind of. They, they, they really get with it. So it would have to be Madonna, unfortunately. Story number three. What is the story with your YouTube name? My name is Jay, short for Jason. VTV. I couldn't think of anything more clever. Number four, a quote to live by. Um, I'm going to quote Reese Witherspoon's character in the movie Freeway. One of the best quotes I ever heard was when she's robbing a guy for no apparent reason. The guy goes, why are you doing this to me? And the quote is, because I'm pissed off and the whole world owes me. I say that to for pretty much anything. So I love that quote because I'm pissed off and the whole world owes me. When you ask me pretty much anything, like what's the weather outside? Because I'm pissed off and the whole world owes me. It doesn't necessarily make sense, but I feel good saying it. Tori Amos had a good quote too, though. There was a song she had called The Waitress and she had this weird redundant line where she said, but I believe in peace, bitch. I believe in peace, bitch. 
I, I, so it's a tie. I believe in peace, bitch, and uh, because I'm pissed off and the whole world owes me. Okay, number five, perfect date or day out. All right, perfect date is where they don't call the police, where they realize that they are just a fuck receptacle for me. Like, I'm just there to fuck you. I don't want to hear you. I don't want where I don't have to pay for a dinner, where I don't have to do anything, where it's just you are something for me to plant my seed in that hopefully will not get pregnant. Like, plant it on your face. I don't fucking know. Like, a date that ends in sex and is it really a date because I have overwhelming issues and one of them is fear of commitment and I haven't dated anybody and I don't know how long and that's all you're going to get out of me with that one because I just it, it disturbs me to even think about. A, a date that doesn't end with me getting sprayed in mace at the lakefront. I go into too much detail, see? All right. Uh, perfect day out. Apple picking. Apple picking and a warm cup of Folgers coffee in the morning <laughs> with my fiance, with my wife and my three kids running behind me in a softly lit field in a in the middle of an October harvest. All right. <laughs> Six, phobias. Like, I'm going to fucking tell people on here. How dare you? I'm not going to tell anybody my phobias because people hate me as it is. They're going to use that shit against me. I, um, my phobias are of making a lot of money and people sending me lots of free money and good stuff. Please don't do anything with that. Please. I'm so scared. Number seven, what are your turnoffs? Religion. <laughs> um southerners for the most part not all um donald trump pretty much any political figure people who tell me i really should give tyler henry a chance and aren't functionally retarded who are just really stupid um there you go okay number eight a movie that you could watch forever I don't think any movie I could watch forever because eventually that'd be like Guantanamo Guantanamo Bay torture, wouldn't it? Like uh, it could be the best song I like in my entire life or best movie, and if you repeat it on a loop over and over, I'm pretty sure that's the definition of hell. That's something Satan would do. Uh, what movie do I really like and could watch many times, but not forever? <sighs> horror guy, so I'm gonna say The Exorcist. I like that one, and Halloween, the original, not that fucking horrible Rob Zombie. Why does he think his wife can act? What? Uh, I'm not gonna get into it. That's another video. She can't act. Stop putting that bitch in fucking roles for fucking 15-year-olds. She's fucking 50 years old. She's probably already going through menopause. And she, I can't get started with this. I'm just not doing it. I won't. I cannot. <laughs> Number nine, what would you do with your lotto winnings? It depends on how much I want. If I won $500, I'm going to go score Coke or something. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't know. $500, I, I, I'll get a really good Starbucks card. I, if it's like a couple thousand, a card that isn't two decades old. Every car I had is at least like two decades old. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, and that has less than 100,000 miles on it. Uh, if I won like a couple million, okay, first of all, get a good Jew lawyer. You have to. They'll protect that fucking money if they're not stealing it themselves and don't have to have somebody watch that motherfucker. But I would not tell family. I would move far away into a really, really luxurious location with lots of protection so that they could chew my annoying family members away who are looking for handouts and pretty much anybody else. Uh, even if somebody crosses my lawn, I want some, I want to hire a sniper who would shoot them. That's what I did with a lot of ring winnings. Um, number 10, looks or personality? Okay, listen, Don Star, let's, 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 come in, come in. Come in. I'm going to talk to you for a second. You said personality. Stop the bullshit, okay? That's it. <laughs> personality. Um, there are plenty of burn victims out there with really, really good personalities who can probably tell a great joke. Do you want to fuck them? I don't think so. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not trying to see. This is why I don't do these things. So I end up saying more and more horrible shit. Do you see what's the problem is with me? It's like I can't even. Okay, okay, come on though. We all have seen the person with like the, the face that looks like a fucking Halloween mask because it's some horrible accent. God bless them. Hope they get everything they ever want in life. And a new face, hopefully. But you know, one eye is always like leaking and they're drooling out of their mouth and they're on some talk show where everybody's like, "You are so beautiful. You are more beautiful than any other supermodel that's ever walked because it shows through you." Then tongue kiss it. Tongue kiss it and prove it, motherfucker. You're lying. It's fucking, it's gotta be looks. It's gotta be. I mean, yeah, looks. Okay, if somebody's a total douche, maybe, but I can still fuck them. I mean, so yeah, it's looks. All right. The last one was a bonus question. Favorite comfort food? I generally like to fuck like a, a freshly warmed muffin. Like, that's comfortable. Like, because you don't, I mean, you have to avoid getting the crumbs in your dick hole and shit like that. But you have to just really kind of ease in there. And not too hot. You don't want it scalding. Like, you don't want third-degree burns and have to explain shit. 
but like just a, a, a nice moist, you know, 30 seconds where you just kind of dig in that shit. And then like, I think I read that question wrong. I think I got the wrong meaning of comfort food. When I'm sad, what do I like to eat? I was totally just lying about that last part. It's bullshit. I have never done that, especially not last Wednesday night. I did have to write these down like a retard because I never remember all these. Favorite comfort food. Uh, ah, the placenta of an unwed teenage mother. Of course. I mean, <laughs> hello. So, yes. There you go. Hope you're happy with these fucking answers because that's the best I got today. <laughs> I'm dealing with dumb motherfuckers who are losing keys at my workplace who don't know what the fuck they're doing and that's all you're going to get out of my ass. But uh, I don't know how exactly to post this in your comments. I'm sure you'll get it and you can post it. You can link it. You can share it with whoever. I, you can... I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so, but thank you for thinking of me and I will be trying to pass this along within the next week or so. Thanks a lot. If you don't know Channel Donstar, if you don't know Hi Internet, it's me, Eric. That's another one. Or Hey Internet, it's me, Eric. It's one of those. It's Eric and he wants to say hi to the internet. A bunch of people who are really good. Just check them out. And that's it.